Hi, Steve Maddox here. I'm on the northwest side of Grand Rapids in a small uh, quarry area. And I just kind of want to think about what kind of geologic environment is here. Igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary, that kind of thing. Um, you might have a close look at my feet. There's some biological hazards in the area. And these stickers hurt when they come out. There's also some tracks in the area. They look like bear tracks to me. So certainly there's some dangers and hazards of being out here in the geologic field area. If my videographer can zoom back a little bit, you arrive in an area, you want to make sense of it. And certainly just looking closely, this place looks sandy to me. Um, that might be your first observation. Looking a little farther up the hill, there seems to be uh, a couple of layers and I can see some layers coming out over here. Um, maybe the soil horizon up on top or maybe a different layer of material. Just the fact that it's so sandy and I see layering makes me think that it's probably a sedimentary environment and then I'm looking at some kind of sediment. So let's walk around the, the corner here a little bit and make some closer observations. Maybe looking this way, the, the first time that I walked up here, I looked at this environment, looking up on this hill right here, and I was just thinking, this is probably a sand dune. It is so sandy, um, just scooping up the sand right here. Looks like Michigan beach sand, maybe a little finer grain. So I could look at it, describe it, and say, oh, definitely uh, a sand dune. As a geologist, we carry these little grain size charts. I could take some of this sand, sprinkle it on the chart a little bit, and it's certainly coarser than silt, but very fine grain sand, uh, maybe a quarter of a millimeter for each sand grain. You can see some dark colored grains. Most of them are light colored. The other thing that really caught my eye is I can see bedding which is a characteristic of sedimentary rock. I even see a narrow band of maybe 15 or 20 centimeters of cross bedded sand, which wouldn't be very common in a, a sand dune. You'd expect all those big inclined cross beds. These are thin beds of, of different kinds of, of cross bedding. So coming up here, uh, you can see this looks kind of stuck together. It's not loose. I'll just put my card there for scale with centimeters on it. And if you look a little bit, whoops, if you look a little bit closely, even within this, you can see big sweeping cross beds, but these are not the kind of cross beds you would expect in a sand dune environment. These cross beds are what you would expect in a river type environment. So I can see what we call a load structure here where it's pushed down or, pr or, or protruded down in the layer beneath it. Uh, some interesting structures here where the sand was cl uh, clumping together and even some cross bedding within the overall sandy unit. So when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking much more likely that this was laid down by a river. So being near the surface of the earth, a lot of it being unlithified, this is pretty lithified, you know, so it's sticking together. I'll bring some to class for you guys to see. So sandy environment. Some of it's lithified, some is not. This almost looks like um, ripple marks that you would expect in a water type environment. So I think this is much more likely to be interpreted as an outwash deposit, a river in a glacial environment that's moving this really uh, kind of well sorted sand. So maybe just taking another look so I can take this sand, push it onto here classify it by size, which you guys have been doing for your plastic sedimentary rocks. The other thing I can do is get out my hand lens if I don't get sand blown in my eyes. And I'll, I'll try to get a picture for you guys. This is all colorless sand, which I would expect to be quartz. Um, for, so most of this is clear quartz sand. The last thing I want to show you is up on the surface, uh, as I walk down here, kind of washing, maybe getting washed down the hillside, is these little pebbles. 
So looking closely at these pebbles, you realize, okay, these are not quartz. In fact, this one looks like a limestone. That one's probably a basalt. Um, not sure about what that is. Oh, that looks sedimentary to me. So there's pebbles up on top. As that top layer is getting eroded, rocks are washing down on top. So that makes me suspect that the top layer has a different kind of composition to it that may not be these um, layers deposit deposited by a river washing out in front of a glacier. That's what I got for you today. Thank you.